Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalonco and you're watching the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, So You Want to Be a Missionary? You know, I've often been asked by young people considering becoming missionaries what they will need in order to get into full-time work. Of course, they're usually thinking in terms of education or money, but after 30 plus years of ministry experience, I can say that these are not the things that will guarantee success in these endeavors. To make it as a preacher or missionary, I believe that there are four indispensable resources that are required. Resource number one is faith. Faith is as necessary for the one preaching salvation as it is for the one seeking it. There are many periods in your career where the result of your work is poor or even non-existent. For many, the fruit of their labor will only be known by future generations. It requires faith in God's word and His promise to provide for you when your efforts bear little results and your livelihood is always in doubt from year to year, as is the case for most missionaries. Resource number two, flexibility. Missionaries need to be flexible because people are unpredictable. People doing this type of work rarely have a set routine and young churches are notoriously volatile. All of this spells trouble for the person who seeks order, preciseness, neatness, no surprises. So if you want a long career in missions, you better be ready to bend with the changing situation that God puts you in every single day and realize that this is the norm, not the exception. Resource number three, focus. How easy it is to major in minors when you are a missionary. Creating work that you can control and count is the religious worker's most frequent snare. Reports, paperwork, meetings are all things that can easily overtake the primary task of ministering to souls or preaching to the lost. The ability to stay focused on the spiritual needs of the church instead of the need to keep one's job is usually what separates missionaries from former missionaries. And resource number four, family. You know, I had three families as a missionary and each played an important role in my life. My wife and children are what God has blessed me with to fulfill my personal life. My church family is what God has given me to serve and my supporting church family is what God has given me to enable me to serve the first two. Whenever I neglect or am neglected by any of these, I cannot be effective in carrying out the ministry God has called and appointed me to do. In the end, for those who wonder if they should go into missions at all, I remind them that the world can always get along without another tradesman or businesswoman or healthcare professional, but it desperately needs every preacher willing to go into all the world, Mark chapter 16. So if you want to be a missionary, remember these points. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.